You know, I was talking to a colleague about this this morning. It's so hard to escape the news. Every time you turn on the news, you see increasing violence, assaults, robberies, you name it. It just occupies our news reports daily. It almost makes you not even want to watch. Our nation, it seems, is a more dangerous place. And as women, we are doing something about it. One growing trend in personal protection is the increase in ownership of guns owned by, get this, an estimated 20 million American women. Welcome to the first in our four-part series on gun safety, including how to conceal, how to store, how to use, and how to keep your firearm safe in your home, your car, and on your person. With us this morning is Orange County, Florida, Deputy Sheriff Ryan Williams. Welcome, Ryan. Morning, Daniel. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm not doing so good when I watch the news, right? Agreed. It is crazy. We're talking about rural areas. We're talking about big cities, small towns, violence. It does seem really is epidemic. Sure. You spent years with the Orange County Sheriff's Department. I want to talk to you off camera about what you've seen. That sounds good. <laughs> we can do that. I can only imagine. But do you find that when women are being more proactive when it comes to trying to protect ourselves. Agree. In the last half decade, the chance I got to work on the streets of Orange County, um, a lot of initial victims that you would see, if you go to a family, they're a victim of a burglary or a robbery. Yeah. And a lot of them would say like, you know, should I get a weapon? You know, is, is there a fear of weapons? You know, and, um, several years later, having to deal with maybe the same families or the same areas, you deal with grandmothers, you deal with single mothers with children, you deal with, you know, new college uh, females in the area that are getting their brand new jobs. And now they're, you see them when you talk to them, they have concealed weapons permits. They proudly tell you, hey, you know, deputy, I, I do have a weapon in my car. I do have my concealed weapons permit. There's more of an empowerment. There's more of a sense of uh, proactive on the female side about not becoming a victim. I'd like to hear that about empowerment. I think that's so important. But I think regardless of why you buy, at the end of the day, I think it's about safety. Wouldn't you agree? It's very much about safety because there's always a... Um, bad mindset, if you will, there's always a fear, the, the initial fear about the weapon, you know, is it going to go off? You know, there's, is it going to be too strong? You know, it, a weapon can actually kill someone. And that's if the shot, scary part though. You've got something in your hands that can actually kill someone. Agreed. So what should women know in terms of gun safety? Uh, with respect to gun safety, um, I know there's always that negative thing and very part of the um, initial mindset of the female because it's usually the man's weapon at first. Yeah. It's the first weapon they see. It's usually larger, maybe a larger caliber, uh, maybe an intimidation part on there. With respect to the females, just understand that the weapon is not going to go off by itself. There's usually an internal safety or an external safety. And you actually need to pull the trigger for the weapon to go off. Mm -hmm. um, the other part is, you know, if you're a female or you have kids in the house, or you have neighborhood kids. Oh my gosh. Weapon safety, you know, the proper storage of the weapon, understanding how to unload the weapon if need be, and understanding. Um, the location of all the weapons that you actually have in your house. Yeah, I think that's important. I think that women these days especially want to and need to feel like they're in control, especially around Agreed. firearms. And I know you touched on that earlier, but I know you brought some items in here today to kind of help us in terms of what we can do to store weapons. I want to take a closer Correct. look at these, okay, if you Absolutely. don't mind. And you know what I want to pick up first, right? I know. Every the female. Purse. I was thinking this is so cute. I could actually wear this walking around town, but this is a little more than cute. Talk to me about this one. I'll let you hang on to it. Uh, cute and tactical. Okay, every, love it. <laughs> every female, obviously, loves purses. Yeah. Um, the best part about this purse is from Gun Toting Mamas. Um, you can store, obviously, all the necessary stuff the females carry in the purse, um, as well as you can also carry, tactically, your weapon of choice in here instead of on the person. Oh, you can put it right in that little slot there on the side. Correct. I like that. Okay. Um, hidden and concealed, securely in case. There's going to be a holster in here. You can store uh, one of your weapons in here um, and obviously zipper it away. No one can tell you actually carry no a weapon here. No one would even know, Ryan. Okay. No Agreed. one would even know. I like it. Let's move on to this big guy here. Um, coming in from the, from the car from grocery shopping, if you have the weapon on you, you want to store it not necessarily in your purse, but right when you get inside your house on a routine. Um, gun vault makes quick release safes, as opposed to worrying about the combination dials of where you're storing your weapon in a larger safe. Quick release safes are finger activated. They have biometric uh, finger safes, which are a little bit quicker, a little, a little more expensive. The lower end ones is going to be actually just finger touch, whether so it's daytime or nighttime, you can lay your four fingers across there. And get to it quickly. Exactly. Show me how this works. Under Wait, two seconds. Under two seconds, and that's something that kids can't get into because they don't know Correct. the combination. Safety it's for your family and safety for the weapons. I love that. You know what? I like that you're here because, again, I think this is such a timely topic. Yeah. He's cute, too, ladies, but he's going to be coming back because we're going to talk a whole lot more about gun safety, right, and concealment, whether you're at home, whether you're on sure. the road, wherever you are. So I'm so glad you're here, and I'm so glad you're coming back, Ryan. So great to meet you. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it, Danielle. A little bit of a blush there because I said he was cute. I know. All right. <laughs> 
in our series on gun safety. Be sure to join us for future segments as we visit a gun store. We're going to be out at a gun range too and also at the home of a suburban mom. In the meantime, if you'd like more information on today's topic, visit the straight shooters at caltechweapons.com. That's caltechweapons.com.